all right so we know what the absolute value means now you're just going to see a few examples to understand how do we work with the absolute values so I'm going to take the first example as simplifying a few of them so the simplify the number one is I need to simplify negative of absolute value of negative 5 now we can just see that what we are supposed to do is we are going we are supposed to simplify the negative of absolute value of negative 5 so the first thing I do is I don't use I don't solve this outer negative sign I, I just put that as negative now I'm going to simplify the absolute value of negative 5 the absolute value of negative 5 is 5 or I can say that's positive 5 or simply 5 it doesn't matter if I write it as positive 5 or 5 now we know that the negative and positive make a negative so the negative of positive 5 is the negative 5 so the negative of absolute value of negative 5 is negative 5 and we can also understand it in this in that way N absolute value of negative 5 is 5 and we are having just negative so the answer is going to be negative 5 let us take another example the another example I take is the negative of absolute value of positive 3 now what is the absolute value of positive 3 it is positive 3 only so I have negative of positive 3 you can just notice over here is that I have solved the absolute value and put the parentheses to denote to distinguish the negative from the positive signs now the negative times positive we know is negative so the answer to this one is also negative 3 then we take the next example here we are going to work with the two numbers and with absolute values so I have absolute value of 6 plus the absolute value of negative 4 now the first thing I need to do in this one is that I need to solve the absolute values absolute value of 6 is 6 plus comes at its own place now the absolute value of negative 4 is either 4 or the positive 4 so I write this as positive 4 within the parentheses positive and positive make a positive so this will be 6 plus 4 and 6 plus 4 giving me the answer as 10 so when I simplify absolute value of 6 plus the absolute value of negative 4 the answer is positive 10 taking another example let us try to solve negative absolute value of negative 3 minus absolute value of negative 7 now again in this one the first thing I will be doing is solving the absolute values so absolute value of negative 3 is the positive 3 or simply 3 I will take it as positive 3 then minus comes at its own place now I will be solving absolute value of negative 7 it is positive 7 so now I have the difference of 3 and 7 I can just remove the parentheses and the positive signs which I don't require and also we can understand negative times positive is negative so we have 3 less 7 that is going to be negative 4 we know how to subtract the integers right okay, taking another example if I have to solve absolute value of negative 4 plus the absolute value of negative 5 now in this one I need to add the two numbers but before adding those two numbers I need to find their absolute values the absolute value of negative 4 is a positive 4 plus the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5 so now now I need to add the positive 4 with the positive 5 or I can simply say that I need to add the 4 with the 5 4 plus 5 is 9 so when I solve the addition of negative 4 and negative 5 I sorry the absolute value of negative 4 and absolute value of negative 5 the answer is positive 9 okay, just the last example more and this one I am going to subtract absolute value of two same numbers so I have the example as absolute value of negative 8 less the absolute value of negative 8 now absolute value of negative 8 is positive 8 or simply 8 I put the minus sign 
and the absolute value of negative 8 is again 8. So solving 8 less 8 gives me 0. So I can see that when I am going to subtract the same things, I am always going to get 0 even though I am working with their I'm working with their absolute values. This all is for absolute values. Keep enjoying the sessions.